Hey everybody, Joe Coffey here for PremierGuitar.com. We're in Los Angeles for the LA Amp Show 2010 and we're in the Cower Guitars booth uh, room and we're going to check out the latest guitars from uh, Doug Cower. Doug, how are you? Good, good to see you, Joe. Good to see you, man. I think the last time I saw you was in uh, Montreal. Yeah, yeah, kind of a long trek back home from that, so it's been pretty good though so. and you've got something new for us here uh, tell us about this guitar so uh this is kind of a prototype expanded version of our normal hollow body this is uh our normal hollow body and it's just a you know a flat back kind of a you know thin line style hollow body this one is a uh, kind of a roving experiment guitar i just put it together you mind if i steal this real quick Dana? Um, it's actually got a, a, a full carved maple back um, instead of the flat back that it normally is. It's still Spanish cedar neck, Spanish cedar core. Uh, it's got a solid block, joins the front to the back. Uh, it's about 60-70% more volume internally. And uh, you know, when I put this thing together, I honestly, nobody had any idea which way it was going to go sound-wise. And it uh, kind of disappointed in one regard. I thought it was going to be like a big 175, and it's not. It's much more like a 335 that I hoped it would be, uh, which... It was kind of a happy disappointment, I guess. You know, it, was, it worked out really well, but uh, it's number 50. It's the uh, 50th one built this year. Um, it's just been kind of a busy year. So I don't know what we're going to do on this one, if it's going to come to market or not completely yet, but I, I think it's going to be a special order thing for now. Um, and then it basically, I mean, it's, it's the same principles as everything but that guitar. Everything else is Spanish cedar, body and neck, uh, maple caps. It's kind of our uh, trademark, you know, ambrosia maple on them. Uh, even the gold tops and the black tops are still this maple underneath. It's eastern maple. I love uh, how you kept the little spalts. You yeah, know, it's, a, it's very neat. natural. That's what's neat about this ambrosia is they're not spalts in the traditional sense where they're soft. They're still, it's just discoloring in the wood. And it's neat because, um, you know, honestly, I built the first couple with that because I had a piece and I liked it. Everybody loves it because just the next piece doesn't look like the next piece doesn't look like the next piece. and You just can't get anything that looks the same. So everybody gets a cool thumbprint for each guitar. That's cool. Uh, well, let's uh, go ahead and listen to it. In case you're not familiar, the way these uh, amp shows work, people are just kind of wandering around, going from room to room, checking stuff out. And when we do our videos, we're like, dude, <laughs> can you be our demo guy? So have you uh, ever played these before? Never once. This is the first time I met Doug five minutes ago. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. well, go ahead and fire it up. Let's uh, listen to what they uh, sound like here. So what kind of pickups are these? Uh, Wolf Tone Cower Wines. Well, they sound wonderful. This Thank is you. Deck pickup. I've got it turned up all the way now. About that neck, you, you oh, put like another wide neck on this, I yeah, assume. Yeah, they're, they're 1.7 wide, so they're a little bit wider than a standard Gibson inch and 11 sixteenths. It's uh, um, the wood binding that we use on every model, regardless of the price, and uh, the neck profile um, rolls through that binding, makes a very comfortable neck for it. Um, it's got this beautiful crenellated nut. Mm -hmm. I think that's beautiful. Thank you. You can kind of hear the happy disappointment on that guitar though, because it's it's. It's what I wanted it to sound like. It just surprised me that it wasn't a little bit more hollow sounding. But it's great because you can play it through any amp, cranked up, no feedback. It really, I mean, you can hit it and it go into feedback, but it won't take your hands off and it's quiet and Very still has good. that nice percussive attack. Very touch sensitive, great guitar. Yeah, it might be a happy disappointment to Doug, but I'm just happy. I like it. That guitar, 
probably won't be for sale. I like it too much. It's gonna get <laughs> it's gonna get prototype written on it and have to stay on the wall. And... What price range is your stuff at? Uh, the entry level over there, our Express model. Um, it's still the same carved top binding and everything. It's just all Spanish cedar or whatever. They start at twenty three hundred, um, and then they move to the hollow bodies at the high end at forty five. Um, that model I don't know yet. Um, but like a standard like the gold top there, that's thirty four uh, or thirty three hundred. That's our you know, full solid body, kind of straight, at Les Paul type guitar. Very cool. If people want to find out more, where can they go online? Uh, my website, Cower Guitars. It's K-A-U-E-R, guitars.com. Uh, a lot of stuff on there. Our Facebook page is on there, and I do a ton on our Facebook page. So, honestly, probably more than my website. So, great. Thanks very much, Doug. Hey, sure appreciate you. it. Thanks, Dana. Why don't you take us out? I'm Joe Coffey. You're watching PremierGuitar.com.